So today we are going to make a game, a little, a little project of my own. So you can see, this is what we are going to basically accomplish. Wow. We're gonna add some more uh, stuff into it. So you can see, basically, we're gonna have like sprinting system, um, like attacking, you know, like combos and stuff. Uh, you can see sprinting and you can like attack stuff. Of course, uh, we're gonna add the AI so it actually uh, moves and stuff. When you kill it, you can see it basically dies. If I kill this one, you can see I level up. Hey, that's pretty good. So basically, we're gonna make a little game. Uh, we're gonna have stats, we're gonna have combat system, uh, AIs, maybe something more like pickup system and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I think I made one video on the combat system a while ago, but it's not the best, it's not the greatest. So let's uh, just make it better basically. So I have these animations, first one, it's basically sword slash and another one, you know, just basically a swing. Uh, these are linked in description if you want to. But for this one, the attack A, you're probably gonna retarget it because it has some bugs, but not major. So that's basically it. So let's go and let's just do it. So let's go to the inputs. So in the input actions, let's create a new input. Let's call it input action attack. Now let's go to the defaults uh, and let's do the attack and left mouse button right here. So this is how you actually add inputs in the UE5. For now, let's go into our combat system. Let's add a color so I can actually see because I'm kind of blind. <laughs> I'm not color blind, I'm just... It's easier to navigate. Let's create a blueprint class of an actor component. Let's call it AC combat system. So we can go into the combat system. Delete the event tick. And from the begin plan, we're gonna do some casting. I know casting is like, oh, it's so wrong and just don't do it. I do not give a shit. Get owner, a uh, cast to third person. So basically I'm gonna cast, not like that. And promote that to a variable. Over here, BP. Now, from the third person character, we're gonna get mesh. And promote that shit into a variable as well. So player mesh. So that's basically it. So you can command that out as casting. No, let's do even basically a casting. Let's do the input. So let's do attacking. So you can see the input action. So this is by the way really new to me. So um I have no idea about uh, these new input uh, actions. So from the start, let's have a branch and let's have another branch from through. So two branches and let's have some variables like can attack, can the player actually attack? Is the player attacking right now at this moment? Uh, let's just do that. Is the player jumping? So basically, so the player cannot jump when he's attacking, I guess. And now let's have save attack. And that's basically it if I'm correct. So the, for the first one, let's get the player. Uh, he's falling. And let's have not boolean. So he's not falling. Then we're gonna proceed. And by proceeding, we're gonna check can attack. So this boolean should be true, always true. So let's have it true. Uh, right at the start, we're gonna check is jumping uh, to true. Uh, actually, you can actually name it to like, like can't jump. Or something like that, you know. It's basically I'm gonna say, no, no, I'm I'm attacking. Fuck off. So you can go to third person. Uh, get the combat system. Get can jump. And the pulse should go into the stop. No, no. The pulse should be going into the jump, and the true go into the stop jumping. So that should uh, do it. 
so now let's have um, a function but for this one i'm gonna use custom events so let's do custom event uh attacking and let's have a boolean and right here we're gonna check is the player attacking right now at this moment if it's no we're gonna set it to attack so he's attacking and if it's true we're gonna save the attack now we're gonna do from that is attacking uh, switch switch uh, on int so let's do this one and the selection let's promote that into a variable called attack in index so now let's add two of them uh, two pins because we have two animations so if you have like four animations four combos you can add like four you can add five six it's uh, quite up to you for me it's gonna be only two so zero and one so now we are going to have more custom events this will be combo one so let's go combo one and it's gonna do two once so we're gonna do it once then we're gonna have a delay of 0 0.1 so it's not like instantly now let's get the player's mesh play montage and let's play out the first one sword slash and then on the execute we're gonna attach attack index and set it to one and plug that into the set. and you're basically done uh that's that's all so now you can duplicate as many times as you want for me it's only two because i have two uh, plug that into the set so it is two change this one to h2 and let's cut uh, let's comment this out now we actually need to um, um, activate the combos, I guess, if you can call it like that. So let's do custom event, start combo. Let's have a branch again. And it's gonna be uh, save, uh, save, save attack. If it's true, we're gonna unsave it and go into the combos. And if it's false, we are gonna have another custom event. Stop combo. And let's add to the false stop combo. And for the stop combo, it's basically uh, it's attacking to false and the index to zero. And that's all. And uh, can, 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 can jump to false. So, so, like that. It should look like this. So let's comment this out. Stop combos. Oh, sorry. So hopefully it's understandable. So now we can add to the zero, combo one, to the one, combo two. This should look like this one. We are almost finished. Now we just have to set notifies for these ones. So this will be a notify and this one. So now let's have another folder. Let's call it notify. Let's go to blueprint class. Go to anim notify. The first one right here, it should be just anim notify. And let's call it start combo. And let's just control D. This one will be end combo. So for the start combo, we're gonna have a function override of receive notify. So I know this is this is like a lot of to take in but like if you're like a newbie it sucks i know it it, it kind of so my channel is not really like oh uh, i'm gonna explain a lot and shit most of the time i have no idea what i'm doing so from the mesh component get over there and get the owner what the fuck is that get the owner and we're gonna do the cast again i know casting you know so from the third person get combat system and let's start the combo okay so you can copy these three it's the ac 
the third person and the owner to copy. Now let's go to end combo. Let's do the same override and plug that bitch in. And yeah. and now this will be stop combo. Makes sense. And that's it. Right, that's it. So now we can actually use these uh, notifies to go to any montages. So you can just create any model. So right where it uh, ends the swing, right here, we're gonna start the combo. So it's basically gonna say, oh, okay, let's go to the next animation, right? Right here and right here we're gonna end the combo so now let's go to the soul slash that's gonna be stuck combo at like let's do 13 right here like where he swings and let's have an end you can just play around with these if you want to it's up to you and okay you can uh, alter the time uh, play rate i have 1.5 so now if we play it should technically work so if we play mm. so let's go to ac combat system let's hook up the attacking right here so when it's true attacking so i just forgot you know oh my god my bad you know sue me man sue me so now if you play oh my god it works so you can see you can swing, you can do the combo. If you just click once, it's gonna just do it once. You can do like, you know. And you can see it's not root motion, so you can go to the attack one. Enable root motion. For the sword slash as well. So then it's gonna look better. But next up, we are going to go into uh, our line tracing. So we're gonna add sound, we're gonna add damage, we're gonna add camera shape, we're gonna add some more sound, we're gonna show some more notifies. Yes!